So if you're a pro at this stuff, you can replace values super fast, like this, like I'm doing here. Now I'm going to show you how I did that. But before I do, my name is David Benheim and I have tons of videos on Excel, Power BI, Google Sheets, Teams, Zoom, PowerPoint. If you're using Tech of the Workplace, now I'm covering it on my channel. And I love to showcase the new content that comes out. So subscribe if you want that kind of stuff. So here I am in the Start Data tab. So as you probably know, you can select a column and go to Replace Values to replace something. So if I want to do replace the words, say, uh, chart with visual, I can press OK, and then it does it there. There are some speed up tricks that I recommend. For example, if you want to get already the data there, you can actually click on a cell and then go to replace values or right click it and replace values. And then you get it automatically popped up with this in here. I really, really recommend that. Um, because this will speed you up with having to do it multiple times. The other thing that I recommend for replace values is to add it to your quick access toolbar. The beauty of the quick access toolbar is that once something is on there, you can be in any tab at all and then click there to launch it. But even more than that is you can have your keyboard shortcut to do it. So I can click on this, I can press the alt button and the numbers come up and I can press two and then it pops up with this. So essentially, you can do that all in one step. Just press Alt-2 really quickly, and it pops up with that that you want. So you can replace it there. Fantastic. However, if you want to get something in here, it's just as easy as right-clicking on any command that you want there, like this one, and choosing Add to Quick Access Toolbar. It pops up here. Note that I did choose Alt-2 because it's the second position. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So now that I added this one, this is position 08. Now, if I want to manipulate it, I can right click and remove them, but you can't get a wizard to move them around like you can with other apps. Um, I do recommend only doing things from one until nine, otherwise it's kind of useless to have to click on too many things with the Alt button. But yeah, I choose Alt 2 because it's got a little two there, so it's easy for me to remember. So another trick if you want to take just a certain word or some words out of it is you can click on it and then down here, you can right click and copy that. And then if you go to replace values, you can value to find, you can just paste control V and then replace that with what you want here. Be careful with the spaces that they should match before and after. Another cool speed up trick if you have a lot of values like here is that you can select a column and then you can go to remove rows and remove duplicates. And then you can get to even the lower ones. So this one I can say right click and replace values. And I can say I want this to Sam like that. And I can do the later ones as well. Let's try the Alt 2 method. Love that one. And then when you're done with all your replacements, you can click here and click the X. So that's the end of that very short video on speed up tricks for replace values in Power Query. I hope you've learned a couple of things. <laughs> if you like this kind of content, then subscribe to my channel if you want more videos on Power BI, Excel, Google Sheets, Zoom, Teams, PowerPoint, on weekly videos on the stuff, including the new stuff especially. Thanks for watching.